Well, if you've been following Dream Car Garage for any time at all, you know that my partner, Peter, runs a Jaguar in the Trans Am Championship. In fact, Paul Genelosi won the championship last year in a Jaguar XKR. And I'm really looking forward to my first ever drive in one. Jaguar Cars Limited as manufacturers are dedicated to the design and production of vehicles which meet the expectations of the world's most discerning purchasers. I'm a car guy. Let's see if Jaguar builds a car for a car guy. Out here on the open road, well, the Jaguar really is a beautiful car. It fits great. The seats are infinitely adjustable. The leather smells like leather. The interior trim and appointments are perfect. Well, Jaguar's XKR model is kind of a flagship model. What drew me to this car in the first place is 370 horsepower. Oh, man. There's nothing like blown power. So we hit the brakes. Now they're 14 inches at the front, 13 at the rear. Big four-piston Brembo brake calipers. They're cross-drilled, they're vented. They look like racing pieces. Now BBS designed a wheel specifically for this car called Detroit. You can get two people in the back, provided that they're munchkins. And the lines on this thing, they do say Jaguar. The stance of this thing really is reminiscent of a cat when you look at it from the outside. Maybe you've arrived and you arrive in one of these XKRs. Jaguar is back. We got a radio and a CD in here. That was no good. Well, in the slow speed stuff, it really is kind of an elegant boulevard cruiser. You gotta like that about a car that costs 100,000. What we're going to do is slightly fracture one of the local municipalities rules about speeding. Try this blown power once again. Oh, baby. So smooth, right out of the hole. It only revs up to just about 6,500 RPM. Do you need all this stuff? Well, hell no. But do you want all this stuff? Well, hell yes, you do. 